What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, September 8th, day number 55 inside the Big Brother house. Vito was yesterday. Who won? How will it affect noms? And late night wild booze fest and uh, truth or dare game gets things a little spicy inside the house. Did Leah kiss Quinn? Did Quinn kiss Rubina? Rubina definitely kissed MJ. Let's talk about that, plus all the intel drama and more from yesterday's live feeds. But first, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. To give you guys a little bit of a recap, if you haven't been keeping up with everything going on inside the house, MJ and Chelsea shocked us, as well as some in the house, by voting out Joseph then Chelsea won HOH accidentally and nominated Chemo and Angela with an eye on Leah as a potential renom if needed. Meanwhile, Leah and Quinn started to hone in on Chelsea as being a potential threat. Vito was yesterday and uh, MJ, Quinn and Rubina were picked to play in the Vito competition along with the nominees Angela, Chemo, and the HOH, Chelsea. MJ had uh, said before the competition uh, to the cameras that she's the comp beast of the season. And you know what? Maybe, maybe potentially she was on to something because MJ wins veto. Uh, it was the classic OTEV competition where each round someone is eliminated uh, for bringing back the wrong answer. Uh, but despite the competition uh, seemingly taking about three hours, that's how long the feeds were down uh, for the comp, apparently only lasted one round. I didn't even know this was a thing, but everyone except for MJ was eliminated in the very first question. Uh, apparently it was something like, uh, who was the evicted house guest uh, who didn't compete in the very first HOH competition? All of them but MJ brought back Tucker, who was out first, but part of the competition. If you remember that first HOH, they had a split into groups, and then there were people that were left out of it. I believe it was Tucker and MJ uh, who weren't part of any of the groups, so technically they were out first. Meanwhile, Cedric, he didn't get to compete at all because of the downgrade that he had uh, from the very first night's competitions. So he was the correct answer, and MJ wins veto. Uh, so yeah, o Otev apparently uh, called them all stupid Fs. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely interesting uh, that that's how Otev went, uh, went about. I I'm interested to see how they edit that into the episode and how that all plays out. I, I would have assumed that what they would have done was just... I, I guess, yeah, no, because... I. What they do is they have everybody go onto the podium and then say what their the right answer is. But if you do that, you can't have people keep going back until they get the right answer. I never thought that was a, an actual thing because we've seen people bring the wrong one up, but then kind of check with who was up there and then quickly go turn around, grab a new one and come back. But we've never seen everyone get it wrong except for one person on the very first question. So, yeah. Very interesting. Uh, eventually, though, MJ met up with uh, Chelsea and uh, Cam ended up joining them uh, in this convo eventually, too. And, and they talked about keeping noms the same, but they did talk about potentially sending chemo out over Angela this week. Uh, after MJ ended up leaving the conversation, Cam and Chelsea did kind of talk about Leah being a threat. But as of now, I don't see them doing that as a this week problem where they're going to use the veto and get Leah up on the block this week. It feels like it could potentially stay all the same. Uh, Angela ended up talking to Leah, thinking that she does not have the votes. But Leah kind of like reassured her. She's like, hey, listen, just don't isolate yourself. Put in the effort still, you know, don't don't go nuts just yet. There's plenty of game left to play. And I think you might have more votes than uh, you might realize. Uh, eventually, though, uh, later in the night, they were playing games. There was a, a fun game of uh, Jenga going on. T-Core with some real ninja skills pulling the blocks out uh, super fast. 
Uh, but they got some booze and they started playing some other games like Truth or Dare. Hemo ended up licking the floor and sadly, Hemo was medevaced from the house for uh, a Listeria infection. I'm kidding. He's fine. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know. Look at that floor. Probably not the best idea. But the real story comes here when we didn't necessarily see this part of it on the feeds. But Rubina made some kind of joke uh, about t using Hemo and Rubina as shields in the game. This got into t head really bad. She ended up going to the bathroom and kind of uh, walking away from the situation. Rubina ended up following her, just reassuring, oh, I was just a joke. And they had a real kind of heart-to-heart, back-to-forth kind of, you know, apologizing and saying things like uh, t saying saying, you know, she didn't want her to think that she was purposely doing that in the game. Rubina said she knew, but like she didn't necessarily say it wasn't true either, because it, it kind of is. Uh, there was even some implication there that Rubina doesn't care if t is using her. And uh, t- lots of talk about how like the lines between game and friendship are blurred so much. Uh, but definitely uh, a little bit of drama there uh, with the trio of TKR uh, of uh, t Rubina, Rubina, and Kimo. Now, things do get a little bit spicy as well, as they also played Evict, Marry, Kill, where you choose one house guest you would evict, one that you would marry, and one that you would kiss, right? Seems like a fun little game. How can this cause any drama? Well, uh, Quinn and Leah both said that they would marry each other, uh, and there was a push from Rubina to try and get Quinn and Leah to kiss they didn't. They played it very, you know, coy and kind of stepped back and didn't didn't end up doing that. But I'm sure Quinn got uh, a little bit of a rush uh, from that as well. Verbena, though, said that she would marry Tucker, but kiss Quinn, which Quinn replied, said, like, what, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get me beat up by Tucker? Because he's like, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he he would beat me up, but I could run away. He'd find me eventually, though. (laughs) They didn't, however, kiss. uh, But they did, however, convince Angela they did. She was running around thinking that was uh, an actual thing that happened. And uh, that Rubina and Quinn kissed. That's what they really convinced Angela was, uh, that Rubina and uh, Quinn had to kiss. And there was an attempt to get uh, kind of a, a train going of kisses by Rubina. She was... She was feeling good from the booze. uh, And also earlier in the day, she was kind of questioning some feelings with Tucker and whether or not they were official or not. Meanwhile, Tucker was posting videos on his Instagram of (laughs) singing, baby, come back. (laughs) Uh, So we very, very much uh, uh, real feelings in there. Uh, Rubina did, however, kiss MJ. Now, they said kiss. They kind of covered it, right? Like you couldn't necessarily see the lips touch, but it seems like they had at least a little peck. There was a little little action there going down. Uh, other than that, though, as things kind of winded down uh, for the night, uh, TKR got the vibe that there may be a plan to keep Angela. Mainly t uh is feeling this way. Kimo and Rubina feel a little bit more okay about it. Think that, you know, it's, it's going to be fine. t mentioned how when she talked to Quinn about keeping uh, Kimo this week, he didn't actually say yes. He just kind of nodded uh, aggressively uh, with that. And she kind of got some weird vibes about that. Uh, Kimo said that's probably, you know, going to be off all right. And it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, he also said Chelsea had assured him that Leah was voting Angela out this week. Uh, but they also think that maybe this all is kind of like a ploy to eventually get Rubina possibly put up as a nominee but they say that doesn't really make sense because it's too much blood and you would lose three jury votes. Yes, that's right. They are thinking about threatening jury votes. Uh, and again, they come as a trio. And this is a problem when you have this many uh, numbers this late in the game, especially this tight core of a trio. Any move you make against them can really hurt you a lot in this game. They said they should probably talk to Chelsea. Uh, today and kind of see how that all goes as well. 
Uh, and it does seem like MJ won't use the power of veto, uh, you know, saying how, you know, she saved chemo last week and there's really no reason for her to save Angela either. Uh, so it seems like the veto won't get used, but there is plenty of time for all those different discussions to take place. But as of now, I don't see uh, MJ using the power of veto and then the vote would come down to chemo versus Angela. And again, there is now a push to have chemo go over Angela. If we take a look here at our allegiance chart uh, for the week, again, not too much has changed. Uh, but you can kind of see how the numbers could be stacking up where chemo uh, is part of that trio of the TKR trio with TCOR and Rubina. And it just seems like that is just such a huge, valuable target to take out of this game at the moment because you don't want to keep a trio like that around as these numbers start to dwindle we talked about on yesterday's update where we're getting to that point where three can start to be the magic number you only need uh three votes this week just to tie things up uh so it could get really uh just even more important to break up that trio now before they can start saving each other in this game uh and going even further but what do you guys think of everything going on in there? What do you think of MJ winning the power of veto? Should she use it? Should she keep noms the same? If she were to use it, should uh, Chelsea take the shot at Leah? Should she take one at Quinn? Let me know what you guys are thinking down in those comments. Uh, also, thank you guys again so much for watching. Check out uh, all the links in the description down below. Pin comment. Things like uh, the Twitter and Discord, great place to keep up when uh, videos are getting posted in case any YouTube notifications don't work. But also a great community over in the Discord, always chatting about what's going on in the live feeds and sports and everything else. We're having great talks about uh, the Eagles game and stuff like that over there as well. Uh, if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Once again, I cannot thank you guys enough. We are on our way to 15k we broke 14,000 subscribers here on this channel uh we've got a uh, few more weeks left here in this season i think we can get to 15k before the end thank you guys again so much and i will see you next time And that's you giving it a hug. That was a good game. Good game. Damn it. Oh. That was fun.